Hello everyone, we are going to work through this problem right here. This problem here has both an inductor and a resistor in it. Okay, now an inductor behaves somewhat like a capacitor. Its job is to store energy in a magnetic field. A capacitor stores energy in an electric field. So it also follows Lenz's law. Lenz's law basically says fight all changes. So any change that comes up, that inductor wants to fight that change. Okay. So when the switch is first closed, a current starts flowing in here and the inductor goes, whoa, I'm not having that. So it fights the current. And it acts like a gap. Now when the switch has been closed a long time, It's already built up its energy in the magnetic field, so it's just happily sitting there, and it acts like a wire. Just letting the current pass right on through. If I reopen the switch, it's going to fight the current dropping off, and it's going to try to maintain. So there's a quick run through of what happens when we open and close the switches. All right, so now let's start talking about part A. Just after the switch is closed, what's the voltage across the inductor? So when the switch is closed, we have the battery up here. We have the resistor one, and if you can read the problem, it says this is a 48 volt battery. This first resistor is 16 ohms. And down here we have a 6 ohm resistor and our inductor is right here. Okay, yeah, 6 ohms. When the switch is closed, we have current flowing through the circuit. But right when it's first closed, this right here is acting like a gap. So it might as well not be there. Now the problem is asking about voltage. Since everything's in parallel, all the voltages are the same. So there's 48 volts across there and 48 volts across there. It's acting like a gap, but it's not actually a gap. So the inductor will have a voltage of 48 volts. But the current across the inductor will be zero. There is no current flowing through here. Just likewise, the current in the 6 ohm resistor will be zero. But up here, this will be V equals IR, and I get 48 equals I times 16, and then my current comes out to be 3 amps. So all the current's flowing through this resistor up here, none here, okay? So we have the current and voltage across the inductor when the switch is first closed. After the switch has been closed a long time, what's the voltage across the inductor? So if I redraw this, because I like to redraw it every single time, we have our EMF up here of 48 volts. We still have the 16 ohm resistor there. We still have the 6 ohm resistor here. We still have our inductor here. Okay. We will have 48 volts across each part. Now, the inductor is not affecting the current or the voltage at this point. The only thing working on voltage and current will be the two resistors. So if I were to come up here and do V equals IR on the top one, 48 equals I times 16, I end up with I equals 3. Okay, on this bottom one down here, V equals IR, 48 equals I times 6, and I get I equals, that should be 8 amps, I'm going to check with a calculator, because I'm a little on the tired side today. Yes, 8 amps. Okay, now the inductor, it's not going to have any voltage on it. It will have a current of 8 amps. I will equal 8 amps, but the voltage is zero. The reason the voltage is zero is all the voltage is being consumed by the resistor. The inductor isn't doing anything since it's fully charged. It's just sitting there. All right, now what happens when the switch is reopened? Well, when I reopen the switch, what happens is that my circuit, the battery drops off. 
and we end up with a circuit like this. Okay, we still have our 16 ohms up here. We still have our six ohms down here. Now, what is the inductor gonna do when that switch is first reopened? Well, it's trying to maintain. It wants to keep things the status quo. The current flowing through that inductor right when the switch was opened was eight amps. Okay, just like it was up here, we don't use the current through this resistor, we use the current through this resistor because this is what the inductor had. It didn't have three amps, it had eight amps. So when the switch is reopened, it has eight amps and is trying to maintain it. So for the whole circuit, we're gonna do eight amps now. And we are in series, so I can find the voltage consumed by the 6 ohm and the eight, 16 ohm, add them, and that'll be that voltage output of this inductor. Okay? So, V equals IR right here, V equals 8 times 6, so we know this voltage here comes out to 48. V equals IR equals 8 times 16, and let's see what that comes out to. Got my calculator in hand, 128. Okay, so the voltage around the loop is going to be 48 plus 128, which comes out to 176. Now the question is, and let's make sure we're reading the question correctly, so I gotta move the paper. The switch is closed a long time. Jeff's switch has been open. What's the voltage A, B across the inductor? So we're going from A to B over here. Now I'm going around the loop this way. We're going to go back across this way. No matter how you look at it though, the voltage, the output of the inductor is 176 volts. So VAB should be negative 176. Okay? Hope you found that useful and helps you some, and thank you for watching.